in the December drywall event, I had the SMT out and I broke the front axle housing pretty darn quick. Partly because I landed like a pogo from about, you know, four or five feet up. Yeah, did not like that snap. Bent the axle shaft, but I'm going to hammer that back out. I got this housing right here off of Amazon. Uh, $28 plus, you know, uh, tax. So about $30 shipped. It's not magnetic. So it's not steel. It's heavier than aluminum. It's probably pot metal. But regardless, we're going to repair the SMT and take it for a drive. Um, it's kind of beefy. Guys, let's get to the table. The housing doesn't really look all that bad. It's a one-piece unit. It's not bolted together or any of that. So, and this can go on the front or back. It can also go on the bomber or the wraith. So, yeah, not bad at all. Um, magnets. Absolutely nothing. So, yeah, um, probably not a very high-quality metal. Maybe zinc? I don't know. I mean... I did test the knuckles to make sure that it was actually the same. I have had some of these in the past years ago where the splines were not the same, so you couldn't bolt up the axial stuff and all that. But this right here seems to do it. So we get to take this apart. Yeah, get the servo off, get the knuckles loose, all that wonderful stuff, and put it all into here. Getting all this loose, uh, pretty simple, just some bolts and pieces nothing special here this is a really old setup you know as far as the axle design and all that so when i get this loose i'm going to pull the axle out and i'll show you guys how it's bent and then i'm going to hammer that thing out and uh you can see it's bent pretty darn well <laughs> all right um i'm going to get all this stuff apart well okay wow there's a lot of little parts and pieces of this thing <laughs> wow okay so got that off got your truss which goes onto the new housing just like the stock one did so we got this right here um here's the axle shaft so i gotta hammer that out <laughs> oh boy this thing has been used uh, i wasn't expecting to find this which is way overkill for such a tiny little axle but you know what? I'm about to straighten that thing. <laughs> Basically, you just find the high side. You can probably put it in a vise and, you know, just straighten it. Can't be very stiff, right? Ugh. No, it's not very strong. But it sure likes to rotate under the hammer. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. Not so good. Mm hmm. Let me figure something out. Using these pieces, I'm now going to try to hammer it right there. See if I can make it work. <laughs> no. Oh, boy, I got to try to get this right. Or at least get it close enough that it'll actually work. Oh, a little bit closer. Ooh, getting close. Almost. Uh, close. I'm going to tap on a little bit off camera, see if I can fine tune this thing. I got it close enough that I think it'll be all right. There it is, guys. Holy moly. Look at that thing. Now, hopefully the higher mass, the heavier axle, will carry it up higher when you hit a bump. You know, kind of like with the LMT in a normal monster truck, they got so much weight right here that when they hit a bump, it just carries the whole truck up. And that's kind of a monster truck trait that is just really awesome to me. So, but anyway, there it is. And you know what? It's time to get this thing outside in three, two, one.
This one is powered kind of mildly. It's got an old Castle Mamba Max Pro ESC in it. I believe like a 3000 KV uh, Three Brothers RC Axe motor in it. Uh, it's got a really nice servo and now that front axle. So we'll just have to see if it can uh, take it. I'm not gonna abuse it on purpose, but we're gonna jump it. <laughs> well, first jump was good. Let's get a little more hopsy hopsy stuff in here. Yeah. Nice, nice. Now you watch me end up breaking the back axle. If I do, I might get another one of these and just put them on there. So, anyway, over there is the actual jump that actually broke this thing. I think we're gonna go hit that. You guys not gonna believe it, but I had a visit, believe it or not, and I should have recorded this, but it was so strange to see. I had a couple goats come up here. I've never seen goats out here before. One got up on there, you can see right there, one of them tried to ram me and knock me down, so I literally chased them away with the grave digger. Hell yeah, I should have recorded that. Oh, man. But yeah, they took off and... All right. Oh, man, I should have recorded that. But oh well. <laughs> Attacked by the killer goats. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and hit this jump. When it went across this, it actually, like, dive bombed front end down pretty hard. And that's what broke the other axle housing. Let's see what we get here. Um, oh man, <laughs> the day of the goats. All right, now that was a good smooth jump right there. I did not have the same nose down issue. Now these Vanquish knuckles and all that, they'll also bend. I've had to straighten them a few times. All right, so I kind of did that on purpose. No kidding, kind of had to. But anyway, everything held up. Now this does have, in case you guys haven't seen it or didn't paying attention, these are our Vanquish ends, Vanquish links. So let's see, that looks all right. I guess they survived that, but axle housing, no issue at all. And I believe that was pretty much about the same style crash that took it out to begin with. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how that turned out. Oh! <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, smack. What a hit. Okay. Um, that, my friends, was the real test of the front axle housing. That hit pretty darn hard. It looks like it just snapped the end. So, you know what? I want to drive this thing some more. I'm going to put a new end on that. Got that taken care of. And it appears I also killed the servo horn. Ah. And yes, that is the SCX-6 in the background. Okay, let me see if I got a horn. Why, yes, I actually have a Trill Servo Saver, which really that's kind of what needs to be on here anyway. So this is going on. By the way, the servo that took that is a Power Hobby 8014MG 14 volt servo. So yeah, it definitely took a hit. I gotta center all this stuff up, get all this into place. Get it secured and we'll be all set. And the rear drive shaft fell out. Um, that looks like my fault. Having too short of a drive shaft spline and all that. Let me see what I can do about that. Well, that was quite the challenge. It just needed all kinds of work down there. Turbo saver. Had to mess with the rear drive shaft. Obviously the uh, link in. But what I want to go do is I want to go hit the dirt piles just a little bit. So I want to go mess with that. Actually, in this video, it's got a whole bunch of upgrades. Now, the servo. 
Oh, wait, this is what broke it. I gotta stop that. I'll go out this way. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So we're gonna head over here to the dirt piles. I, I gotta try that. I've kind of been digging at the piles, but I still have two, so let's see what we got here. Oh, sliding down. Let's go ahead and hit the back side of this thing. Should be good, right? I've broken more than one vehicle because of the back of this thing. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully I don't break it again. Nice. Nice. I hope I got all that. That was beautiful. I wonder if I can get a backflip. Let's see. That was actually up there plenty. Good enough to just about get that, wasn't it? Well, let's see what we got here. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! This has been a horrible run. Good God. Now I've got weird gears problems. You know what? Um, I guess it's time to call it. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I guess next. I'm, um, golly. rear end right i mean oh it's not a gear problem all i did was broke a drive shaft i split a drive shaft that was it beautiful because i was just about to go order another one of these and gears and all that but i guess i need to order some drive shafts first don't i all right um, that's a cheap fix and an easy fix. <laughs> okay, let's do some front burnouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll call it done. That was fun. <laughs> Took a little work to get that run in. Um, yeah, servo horn, one rod end, and rear drive shaft tube. Gone. But you know what? The thing ran really good. Um, it, it still got the stock pinion on it. The stock size spray, even though it is steel. So that's kind of why you heard a little bit of noise in there. But uh, yeah, it, it can be pinion geared up. It can be kilovolted up or KV'd up. And this thing could really, really put some power down. Of course, if you're in the monster truck world, you already know that, right? But anyway, for me, I think it's perfect. I'll, uh, I'll order up some drive shafts for this thing and keep that from happening again. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. I will link up things like the servo, the servo saver. Um, I'll, I'll try to find everything I can on here and get this linked up for you guys. At Axle Housing. Um, that one jump where I went over and I broke the end link, man, that was a good test of that axle. Man, that tested everything. I mean, all the way through the vid the, vid the uh, Vanquish links, all the way through the chassis. I mean, everything took that hit. That was a hard hit. But anyway, guys, hopefully you liked that video because that, uh, that was awesome for me. I wanted to get a backflip, but it didn't quite have the pinion gear or RPM to really get the spin. Uh, I kind of want to mess with it a little bit more, but... You know what? I got other things to do. Guys, in that description, there are links for all kinds of this stuff. Make sure you check that out. There are affiliate links. They help out the channel when you guys use them. So guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed and, keep, and thank you all for watching and keep watching. Hey guys, if you're still watching and you're hearing this message, you are absolutely awesome. I want to tell you guys, you are the cream of the crop. Um, also, if you're listening this far, well, you know, 
If you want to help directly support Exo Caged RC, got the channel memberships, $2, $5, $10, and $25. You get early viewing, and sometimes I get to put up a little extra footage for you guys. So guys, check that description, and thank you so much.